Stand up for freedom. No reason to remove me from this space. Yes. Yes. We support you. I do know my, my rights. Please do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. The board is not going to move. Do not touch me. I'm not going anywhere. Under what grounds are you removing me? What is the what is the law? You do not have it. Okay, I am not moving. You are on notice. We will come and we will give you notices on affidavits. You will respect our rights. It is our constitutional rights, and we will fight for them. You are not in position to tell us parents what you can or not, what we can or not protect them from. Why did she put you out here? She was asked to move from the floor. Why? Why? Can I have the code or the policy or the law? Oh, excellent. So then I'm not going anywhere. It is our constitutional rights. You do not have, you are public servants. You do not have the authority to... You, have, you do not have the authority to impose any of your fake codes, California codes, on us or our children. It is our constitutional rights. Can you hand me one of them? Mom, when the judge is leaving! Do you want your paperwork from back up there? Oh, go get it. No, they can have it. I, one of the people, have a commandment for God who gave me freedom not to have blood, bodily parts, or animal cells put in my body. As touching the Gentiles which believe we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols and blood and from strangle and from fornication. Now that you have noticed of my religious conviction and realized where my conscience is, please see below Article of Declaration of Rights, Section 4, the free exercise of enjoyment of religious profession and worship without discrimination or preference shall forever be guaranteed in this state and no person shall be rent, no person shall be rendered incompetent to be witness or juror on account of his opinions on matters of religious belief but the liberty of conscience hereby secured shall not be construed as to excuse acts of licentiousness or justify practices inconsistent with the peace or safety of the state Research and investigations generally show that the state does not have authority to put medical intervention. Where does that show that you have the authority to enforce any medical procedures? Find it in Title 42, Section 247B, that it states nothing in this section shall be construed to require any state or political subdivision or instrumentality of the state to have an immunization program which would require any person who objects to immunization to be immunized to have any child marks in the United States. Vaccine injury and death is inevitable. In 1986, I was just standing here, she ran into me, so...
Can you submit it?